Hello and welcome to Adapt GA4 video series. We help you learn GA4 and start using more. These are quick bite-sized videos in which we explore GA4. Today's topic is the Add to Cart event and Add to Cart reports within Google Analytics 4. Let's get started. Add to Cart event is for e-commerce stores. We want to track when a user visits our product page, clicks Add to Cart. That's the action. Of course, that's a must do step before the purchase. So it's very important in the funnel. We want to be able to track that properly and get the reports properly so that we can detect if there is something wrong. Add to cart reports can be useful in many ways, but mainly we like to always track the products that receive so much add to carts, but not completed purchases that can always give you different insights. Maybe there is a problem with your shipping method, payment method, or it could be a product specific problem, which is worth to check. To make sure that your add to cart events are working, let's go to Google Analytics 4, Reports, Lifecycle, Engagement and Events. As always, if your left menu is different than mine, then you should watch the relevant video so that we can customize your left menu according to your needs. In the events section, I went to the second page so that I can show you add to cart event. As you can see in this example, 18,000 times this add to cart event has been triggered by 5,600 users, average user did 3.3 times and so on. If I were to click this, I will see now more details about this event. I supposed to see the product ID here, but there is probably a problem with the GA4 demo account. We don't see the product IDs, but we could see here the page titles. So the products that are clicked the most, the add to cart item. But of course, this is not where we analyze the data. We usually use the product level reports to analyze the to cart performance. So for that, we go to monetization, e-commerce purchases, and that will firstly show items and items added to cart, as you can see. So this is pretty straightforward. Already the numbers are here. So you can start, you can try to check abnormalities here, right? For instance, this product added to cart 9,000 times and only purchased 36 times. Of course, this is not realistic at all. This is GA4 demo account, so the data doesn't make any sense, but always try to find these rates and try to understand if there is a, pro if there is a product which receives really high amount of add to cart and low amount of purchases or the other way around. So maybe some of your products doesn't even receive add to cart. So you might want to check the performance of those. So this is how uh, add to cart event in GA4 works. If you have any problem with your uh, GA4 tracking setup, we have another long video about GA4 troubleshooting for e-com stores. You should be checking that and make sure that your GA4 events, your GA4 e-commerce events specifically are working fine so that you can take advantage of this GA4 e-commerce reports. This was all about that to cart. If you find this information useful, you can visit the GA4 training page on our website in which you can sign up for our GA4 training updates. Uh, and here you will also see the latest reports and latest videos or latest resources that we share about GA4. Um, as a company, we are committed to teaching GA4 as many professionals as much. Um, that's why you will always find useful uh, information from us. Make sure to sign up if you are interested in. Another thing you could do is you can always leave your questions uh, and feedbacks on YouTube comments. You can also use hashtag suggestion to suggest us video titles and topic. We would appreciate to hear your suggestion. You can follow us, subscribe us on YouTube and follow us on LinkedIn. Um, I hope it was a helpful video and looking forward to see in another video in this video series.